My favourite memory of Cadbury's, I would have to say, would be when I was a younger person that I'd say, I'd get my pocket money on a Sunday afternoon and come to this corner shop and buy a bar of dairy milk and take it home and share it with my dad. Um, and that shop was actually the shop that we're still in today, 27 years later. My favourite memory of Cadbury is, I was, I was on the way to a primary school. I was a bit involved with an incident on a bicycle. Uh, the lady came home, gave me this massive bar, and I spent the next week hiding it away, having bits and pieces during the week, and it was fantastic. So my fondest memory of Cadbury's is when I was younger, my dad bought me a little vending machine, and he had the really small miniatures of chocolate and that used to be like a treat for us so like you know we used to put it in the machine and then take it out and it just used to be so much fun. Work with suppliers and reps because they're the category experts they have got knowledge that we don't have when you start out in retail you tend to think of reps as a bit of the enemy pushing stuff on you and it's really not like that because the only way that we can all make more money is to work together. I would definitely look to the retail network and utilise all of my colleagues in the network. I would also get out there and work with the suppliers as well, because suppliers are fantastic. Talk to your customers, understand what they want, listen to them, you know, I'm not filling the shop up for me, I'm selling stuff for them. The people that are coming up are the ones that are actually sharing, and I think sharing is the best way forward within this retail environment. Social media is so important to us, uh, a great way to link our in-store customers to our online customers is we've installed a, a Facebook counter um, where customers can scan a QR code and like our page. So we know that customer is somebody that shops in our store and now they can see all our products online. Uh, digital SELs are something that I've introduced into the business over the past few years and uh, they've been very good from an efficiency point of view but also from keeping our customers um, on the right side of the descriptions and the pricing. A loyalty card that we started up, it's a basic card, it gets stamped when they spend £10 and it can increase spend because if they spend £9 they will spend that extra pound to reach that £10 mark for their stamp.